bust in on the start of the movie. But I think the one of the important things about this film is that it, this was Barbara Stanwyck, who, this was the third film that Barbara Stanwyck made with my father, and she was my father's favorite actress. Of all of the actresses he used, she was number one. She was number one with Frank Capra. My father made five pictures with her, and he wanted to cast her in many others. But the problem was she was so many directors' favorite, and she was working all the time that you had to catch her when she was uh, out of work, which just hardly ever happened. But uh, she was what biographers like myself and historians say was a Wellman woman. My father really appreciated women who were strong, independent, not afraid to say what they think, could hang with the boys, uh, which Barbara could do, which Carol Lombard could do. Uh, my father liked that kind of woman. And he made a picture which many of you may have seen called Westward the Women, which was my father's tribute to the strong American woman. And, and in that movie, he's got a hundred women in it. Um, and there's a possibility that Westward the Women is going to be remade. I showed it at UCLA back in uh, May, this past May. And Alexander Payne, who directed Sideways and Nebraska and, and many others, and he came with his producer and he said he was really interested in doing a remake of Westward the Women, so I'm very excited about that. But getting back to the purchase price, uh, George Brent is the co-star. Now, Barbara Stanwyck and George Brent had done a picture that my father directed called So Big, and it was a huge success. So this was their follow-up. And George Brent, I always laugh because I read so many, in so many books, they always say, the amiable George Brent. George Brent got along with everybody. None of the female stars at Warner's, nobody seemed to dislike this man. Everybody liked this man. I think he started to marry some of them, too. <laughs> but uh, the picture was one of the pictures, you know, a woman in trouble story that I, I was talking about earlier that my father was getting tired of. But of course, being able to use Barbara Stanwyck made my father so happy. And uh, this was the first time she ever sang in a movie. So that the song that they that they put up first. And during there's a very exciting sequence near the end with the burning of a wheat field. And this is another reason my father loved Barbara Stanwyck. Uh, they had a stunt double because they're running around in the flames. And they did a rehearsal and Barbara said to my father, I don't like the way that stunt double is doing this. I'll do it myself. And she did it and she had quite, ex quite serious burns on her legs. Uh, they did all heal and everything in time. But she, and she didn't say anything at the time. And then when my father found out, of course, he was very upset about it and everything, but she said, no, no, I'm going to be fine. But that, that was Barbara Stanwyck. Get in there and, you know, go for it. So I hope you enjoy the film, and I, I thank you all for coming tonight. And um, I hope I see you again. <laughs>